today's episode, we're going to talk about seat swivel. So this was a fairly straightforward process with some customization, but this is a staple in pretty much every van build. It's going to vary a little bit on everybody's build. This is a 10-way power seat on a Ford Transit, and so I'll kind of talk about the differences on this as we go. Uh, this took about two and a half hours to install, and the swivel itself comes from a company called Swivels R Us. It seemed to be one of the highest rated, um, best reviewed swivels at the time of our um, purchase. I think there's a couple out there, uh, other options you can look at as well. So let's dive in. So on this power seat, there's this big connector that's underneath the seat and it's clipped in here so you got to use a screwdriver to pry it the clip loose and then you can pop it off and then rather than trying to take out all of the individual ones you can just loosen this bolt and then the whole plug disconnects um, so now I just got to remove the piece here so that the seat and the cables are disconnected and then this whole thing can lift off and we can put the new swivel in See if that works. I think we're probably gonna have to cut it off, but uh, find out. Messy, it works. So I'm gonna get back together. So now I'm going to uh, put the bolts in. catching just a little bit so I gotta cut just a little bit more off. Take two. Yes. <laughs> Alright, awesome. So gonna basically tighten all the bolts down and uh, call this good.
So everybody's installation is going to be a little bit different. As you saw on ours, we had to do three customizations. We had to drill two new holes in the swivel to actually align to the factory holes on the seat base. The second is we had to trim the side of the seat trim in order to clear the swivel whenever it was turning. And then the last is adding a couple washers as shims on the front two mounting holes of the seat base. The reason is where this handle is, the bracket kind of dips down and was hitting the seat pedestal. By putting the shims in, it raised it enough that this was no longer causing a, a contact point, which was basically making the swivel be uh, uh, kind of a, a wobbling effect. Other than that, this is one of the easier uh, installations or projects that we're going to have, uh, but it did require some customization and a little bit of troubleshooting. On the next.